What has the length of roughly four times your height, is neatly packed into a small area, and allows you to get the maximum amount of nutrition from what you eat. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the Small Intestines. The small intestines are coiled inside your abdomen behind your belly button. They are your longest organ at 22 or 23 feet, or roughly four times your height. It's the job of the small intestines to finish what your mouth and stomach started, and that is to absorb nutrients from what you eat. They are called the small intestines because of their diameter compared to the large intestines. Among the twists and turns of the small intestines are small hair-like tubes called villi, and even smaller villi called microvilli. The villi help with absorption and greatly increases the surface area of the small intestines. The small intestines are divided into three sections, the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. And here's another view of the three parts of the small intestines. When the chyme from your stomach enters the small intestines, chemicals and mucus are released. The mucus helps counteract the acid of the stomach. Next, enzymes from the pancreas are released. Trypsins to help digest proteins, lipase to help digest fats, and amylase for carbohydrates. Also, bile, which is produced in the liver and stored in the gallbladder, is released to help with the breakdown of fat. The chyme is moved along the small intestines by muscle contractions called peristalsis. It takes this mixture three to five hours to pass through the small intestines. As the mixture moves along, pits within the small intestines secrete water and salts in order to aid digestion. This mixture of food, enzymes, water, and salt will move to the large intestines where the water will be absorbed. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.